Hey guys, so the other day I went to Sephora and did a little bit of damage. It's kind of crazy how Sephora just kind of gets you every single time you walk in there. I was going in there to return something and came out with a bag full of stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick Sephora haul. I bought a bunch of skincare products as well as some fragrances that I'm going to share with y'all. Um, one of them I've been wanting to try for so long and the second is actually a repurchase, which is super cool. I'm always excited to finish up a bottle of fragrance and get a new one or just repurchase one of my favorite ones. And then I have a few items that were sent to me through PR and I'm just going to share it in this haul because you can also get these items at Sephora. So yeah, if you guys love Sephora hauls, then definitely stay tuned and um, let's just jump in. Y'all already know that I'm completely obsessed with skincare. Like uh, as much as I love fragrance, skincare is like second place to that. I love a good skincare routine. And so I tried a lot of stuff, but I definitely have my staples. Um, a brand that I really, really, really was intrigued by was Biosense. And luckily I was sent quite a few of their skincare items that I've already tried and played around with. And I'm really, really enjoying this brand um, overall. So they did send out this cute little pouch over here so cute and there are a bunch of products there was like a virtual event that we did with the brand just to get to know the philosophy the ingredients and everything like that so this is a clean brand at sephora they are plant-based and um i think you should definitely check them out i have the cleansing oil and i've been using this for the last I want to say two months now and I love it. I love it, love it. I'm almost done, so I'll definitely be repurchasing this one. So the newer products to me that came in this pouch here was the moisturizer and the serums and an eye cream. So this is the lactic squalene and lactic acid resurfacing night serum. This little guy here, and I already took it out of the box because I started using it um two nights ago, and I really, really, really like this one I would say if you are looking for something that is going to exfoliate your skin leave you with a nice texture but not be super abrasive this is a great product now you will feel a little tingling when you first apply this okay keep that in mind but it really does subside quite fast you know and I really just love the way that my skin feels the next day it's pretty amazing honestly you definitely see a difference quite fast um, we also have here here, their eye cream. I haven't tried this product out. I do have their eye gel, which I have been using for about a week now, and I really, really like that one. So I'll probably incorporate this to nighttime because it is a bit of a heavier texture. And then I have here this. This is what I was most excited about, which is their squalene and vitamin C rose oil. I heard so many people talk about this product, seen it on Instagram. The bottle is absolutely stunning, first of all. It's so cute for pictures. And I'm definitely a, like a package snob. I love when brands pay attention to detail and just make a package look good. I mean, if you're spending top dollars, I want the product to work, but also the packaging to look a little cute, you know? So this is the, the oil right over here. What I like about this oil is that it is quite thin. Now I have used this already. I'm gonna show you guys. See, it goes on like that, but it's very thin, it's not thick, and it just like goes into the skin so well like it really does absorb itself super well and it leaves your skin with this beautiful glow but not greasy not tacky and um, a little goes a long way so this is definitely going to last me a couple of months and I personally love using face oils especially for nighttime before I'm going to bed it helps in hydration it helps in just the texture and suppleness of your skin it gives you like a Lot of nourishment while you are sleeping and then when you wake up your skin just feels like butter so the other two products that were in that bag are two uh, sort of moisturizers one is a cream so the squalene and Omega repair cream and then the other one is the squalene and probiotic gel moisturizer so they definitely have two different textures I haven't tried the gel just yet but I did go ahead and try the cream and I like the texture it's not overly thick it's like that right in between but it definitely feels very nourishing on the skin so I've only used this twice 
twice. I can't say too much, but I definitely enjoy the texture of it. And um, I like that the products are not heavily, yeah, they're not heavily scented. They just smell like fresh and clean and like, um, you definitely can smell that they're plant-based, but not in an obnoxious uh, way or anything like that. So the other package that I got was from Kiehl's and these are their body moisturizers or cream if you want to say they do come in this like limited edition holiday packaging which is so adorable i had um seen these two products a lot and i know that the reviews are pretty incredible so i was excited to try um this one is more like a liquidy or maybe it's just in a different packaging. I don't even know, it's in a different package. Um, I started using this one over here and it literally feels like it's a body butter, like a whipped butter. That's what it feels like, the texture of it. It's very nice. It's not um, greasy at all. Like I thought this was gonna be very emollient, but I don't find that at all when I'm applying it on the skin. It really does absorb quite quickly. So if you don't like those products that are very like emollient, going towards like the oily side once they blend on the skin, this is a really great option. Now when I do use this one, because I like more of that emollient product, I'll mix it with some body oil just to add that extra you know slip but it still is very very hydrating and again it's like a very whipped body butter so i'm glad i got to try this out all right so now we are going on to my bag my actual <laughs> sephora haul so these are the items that i purchased for myself the other day i went into sephora yes we do have a lockdown in toronto but if you go to like the outskirts of toronto um there are places that are open so went into Sephora I went like I said originally to return something and then I came out with a bag full of goodies most of this is just skincare um, replenishing stuff and then fragrance which I really shouldn't be buying any more fragrance but honey she just can't stop okay so starting off with actually biosense i really really wanted to try their cleanser um i heard about this in our virtual event but it didn't come in the package so i was like let me go out to sephora and get it and it was actually a lot more affordable than i thought it was going to be um i was thinking this is going to be 60 dollars 70 dollars but this was in the 30 something dollar uh price point and you get uh, 150 ml which is super super great so so this is their jelly cleanser um, it's squalene and elderberry jelly cleanser the way that this looks it looks like a pink jelly and it smells like elderberry it is a berry and um, I wanted to try it because the way they explained it was really cool it's like a jelly but it breaks down your makeup really fast and just gives you the most clean slate for your skincare and here is the bottle right over there so I'll probably be trying this to night even though i currently have a cleanser i'm just excited to give this one a go and see if it um if it works out for me it is sealed so i'm not going to open it right now but yeah this is a facial cleanser and makeup remover plant derived squalene so the entire like biosins um brand all of their products are um squalene uh plant derived squalene so that's that's kind of like their branding but yeah i got this little guy right here and then this packaging caught my eye. This is Tata Harper, and I've always wanted to try products from this brand. I've heard really, really great things. So I went ahead and picked up the Regenerating Cleanser. This is a J J Jaylee girl. So this is a daily exfoliating treatment, and just the look of it really intrigued me. First of all, this box is like eye-catching. When it had when they had the sample out. At Sephora I was really just interested to see how it would work out for me I love products that can make my skin super smooth like I'm really really obsessed with exfoliating products like mind you you don't want to ex over exfoliate your skin but um, if I find something super mild that can be used on a daily basis I will or I'll alternate between like a regular cleanser and then an exfoliating cleanser just so I'm not doing too much on my skin but um, here is that bottle right there isn't that cool I 
really, really like this. It's a very heavy, it's 125 ml. And again, it's more of a daily exfoliating treatment. So I'm gonna check it out and see how mild it is because sometimes they say it's mild, but it's a little bit abrasive. So I'm excited to get into this brand also. This is the first product. There are quite a few of them that I've already been eyeing. And I will say that this is definitely not a cheap skincare brand. <laughs> So this one here is 100% natural and non-toxic. So I am, for the most part, looking at a lot of more natural, plant-derived skincare brands. I think it's just better overall for your skin. There's less chemicals and all of that good stuff. So definitely, you know, try and go in that direction. I'm not saying that I won't try anything outside of that, um, but it's definitely something that I want to focus more on when it comes to skincare products. I also did pick up two other skincare products from a brand that I absolutely love, and these are affordable. For those of you who are on a budget, college students, you do not have time to splurge $60 on a cleanser or on a serum right here okay this is this is the ordinary sold at sephora sold at hudson's bay and they have some of the best products for like the price point is actually insane because some of these prices are cheaper than drugstore brands really crazy so i always got i always get the hyaluronic acid and then the niacinamide i've been using these for a long time but i had been out of both for the last, I wanna say two months now, every time I wanted to get it, it was sold out and finally I found it at Sephora. These are incredible, incredible products. So niacinamide is definitely for texture. So it's gonna help with smoothing out your skin, removing dead skin cells and really exfoliating your skin. And then the hyaluronic acid is pure hydration, okay? If you need hydration, especially in the winter time, this is what you wanna get because our skin naturally does um, produce hyaluronic acid but as you get older that decreases the production and so just adding a serum like this is perfect and I love that you can combine any of these serums with other products you just kind of have to look at the ingredients in the label or even just do a quick Google search to make sure you're not mixing things that shouldn't be mixed um, next item that I went ahead and picked up is my favorite deodorant Okay, this is the third one that I get and I I tried using other things after I used this for the first time. I did try. I promise I tried other deodorants and there is nothing like this bad boy. I don't know what kind of magic potion drunk elephant put into this deodorant, but my pits, they love it. Okay? It keeps them in check. It keeps them fresh and it just holds up for the entire day and what i love about it it has a cream formula but it does not you know transfer onto my clothes it just stays put and it's so good it definitely lasts me quite a few weeks before i have to like replenish if i'm the only one using it you know sometimes my husband gets into my stuff which is quite annoying but um if it's just me using it it will last me a while at least a month i want to say maybe less than a month, <laughs> but this is a great product. Then the last two items that I picked up from Sephora are two, not four, two fragrances. It's a repurchase, okay? And that is C, um, the original C EDP from Giorgio Armani. You guys have heard me talk about C a million times. I love pretty much the entire lineup of C. I love it. I think they did such an incredible job um, with the C line. I was completely done with the original C, like my bottle was completely finished. So I picked up a new one. I did only get the 50 ml because I have a ton of fragrances. I'm kind of over getting 100 ml and over. It's just, no, because you know, like that's doing too much. So I'm gonna open it up real quick and smell it because I haven't smelled it in so long. There she is, what a beauty, what a beauty. So that is the original C from Giorgio Armani. I already have C Fiore, C Passion, Passion Intense. I have, um, what's the other one? It was a limited edition one that I also have. And then I have the Intense coming in in the mail. So once I get the Intense, which should be by Monday or Tuesday, I will be doing a full video on all of the Cs. 
because I know y'all are really excited. But this one, I had been out for a couple of months and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it again. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. So elegant, fresh, floral, sweet. Mm. It's such a likable scent. Like I don't, I really don't understand who wouldn't like this scent. Is it a little generic? Absolutely. But it's fantastic. Like it just smells like an elegant, confident, um, down to earth lady. Like I'm not bougie, but I got myself together. You know what I mean? Oh, it's so beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Maison Margiela. I absolutely love the replica line from Maison Margiela. I think they do a fantastic job with their fragrances and just really capturing the essence of a time, a place, a moment. They do it perfectly. And so I wanted to get Coffee Break. So many of you guys were telling me, get Coffee Break. You will love it. I also heard, I believe it was Tiffany Benson. I hope I'm saying her name right. Speak about this fragrance. It was a complete blind buy, okay? Complete blind buy. I'm just going based off of the notes, based off of what you guys are telling me. Oh. I love their boxes. Everything about this line is marketed beautifully. Like their entire team do a fantastic job in the packaging, the marketing behind it, and even the scents and everything about it. Like I will say that I have quite a few that I absolutely love. I'm gonna spray it in the box first and just get a nice smell of that. Oh, I'm excited! I think that's enough sprays. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. It, it reminds me of something, but I really, is this reminding me of black opium? Yeah, like I feel like this opens very similar to black opium. Yeah, on, on in the box, it smelled a little bit more like it reminded me of black opium, which I absolutely love black opium. I don't care what no one says, but this one is definitely different on the skin. Oh, that's smooth. As it dries down, I'm picking up more of that coffee note, but it is quite mellowed out. It's not heavy. I wish it was a little bit heavier, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted the coffee to be a little bit more predominant, but I still really like it. I still really like it. I just wanna bathe myself in it to really just feel it. You know what I mean? To really capture it. But in terms of sillage, it's not super loud. It's not projecting loud. I feel like even C is taking over more of this fragrance. And I do understand that these are EDTs, but there are some of them out there, the scents that smell quite loud and they project really well and perform like a, like an EDP. So reading EDT doesn't really scare me away from a fragrance. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a lot weaker, but that's what we think in our head because that's basically what we're accustomed to think. But don't always take that to heart. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. This sits closer to the skin. So don't be scared of it. It's not super loud. It's not aggressive. It's actually something that is very soft and mellowed out and sits closer to the skin. I like it, okay? I like it, but I will say this. I thought the coffee note was gonna be a little bit stronger. I thought it was gonna project a little bit louder, but it's definitely more of a skin scent. This is a first impression. I will definitely include it in some of my upcoming videos to give you guys more of like my thoughts and how it's been working out for me. So that pretty much wraps up our little Sephora haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely like a last minute thing. I was not planning on buying anything else for the rest of the year, but um, you know how that goes. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching another video and um, just enjoying all of the content that I'm putting up. It's been really, really exciting and stressful and hectic at the same time, but 
I love creating content and I'm so happy that y'all are loving them and watching them and supporting them. So definitely check out my channel, check out the playlist that I will link down below for all of my videos. There's a little bit of everything. I definitely want to add more to this channel um, aside from fragrance. I know that the community loves fragrance, but definitely support me when I put out a skincare video, a lifestyle video, a makeup video. Um, I would really, really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow.